This may be the cutest print in place rhino I have ever seen. It's actually the only one I've ever seen. But yeah, it's printed in multiple parts or there is a version that is just one piece if you want to print it out that way. And you've got the eyes, the body and the horns. I recommend reducing the eyes and horns down to 99% because otherwise I think they're just too tight a fit. But uh, if you don't mind cleaning them up a little bit, you can easily get these uh, glued in. But you'll see when I go ahead and we put this all together, I did have issues with those bits just wanting to pop out. I was really trying to jam them in with the glue to make sure they'd stick. But yeah, I just had too much of an issue with it. So I recommend just reducing them down in size a touch. But this is gorgeous, really well designed 3D model for this Rhino. And it comes out looking just cute. And of course I've printed it off in gray filament, white filament and black filaments so that I'm not doing any paint in here. And I think it's ended up coming out really, really good. And yeah, wonderful CD design. Nice, simple thing. It looks like a really cool little kid's toy. And although I wouldn't give this to a kid to play with, it definitely fits into that kind of idea really well. And I love these kind of cute print and place models. I've done videos on many of them that have come up in the time. And this is really one of my favorites. So if you do want to check this out yourself, it's a free 3D model from the original designer. Links to their uh, things will be down below and you can go check them out. And I'm almost done putting this together now. I'm on the last eye. And yeah, this is our print in place Rhino. Of course, the segmentation is fully articulated in all the different directions. It looks absolutely stunning. So very, very, very happy with this one. So anyway, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.